What's going on guys, General Job here, and today I'm going to be discussing the Revelations intro we got, the teaser that we got, because I've been away for a few days, I was actually at Reading Festival, if you're in the UK you know what Reading Festival is, if you're not it's basically a big music festival, so the day I actually went to Reading Festival, the intro scene and all the little teasers came out and I missed it all, I couldn't make videos of it, but I'm back today, I'm going to do a big roundup of everything I think, and just some ideas of what I think are going to happen in the map. So it's just a quick roundup of the intro, it's basically Monty talking to the original four about the house that we've all speculated about, and it's got the picture of the children in there and then suddenly uh, we get to see Maxis for the first time. Maxis helps the Shadow Man escape from the summoning key who then summons the Apothecons to come and help destroy the world and basically that's how it starts. Uh, Monty throws the fire outside the door and he's like um, it, it's a shit show out there and he closes the door and that's when the map would begin. But in the teaser we actually got shots of different maps like we saw more of the dead shots we saw like a really weird twisted version of Kino de Toten and uh, there was a bit of origins in there, there was like some genera uh, generators, sorry. And then in the intro cinematic, we see the staircase from the first room in Natched. So that's basically what the intro was and the teaser was. It was like a, a kind of a spin on the origins teaser that we got when it was like every story has a beginning and then at the end it said and an end. So that was the teaser and then we had the intro which was really good, really dope. The music was just beautiful on that intro. If you haven't seen it, I really recommend you go watch that first before you come back to this video. So. A lot of nice colours in that intro, a lot of nice colours in the sneak peek, but I'm going to go into some of the things I think are going to happen in Revelation. So, uh, recently people have been talking to Jason Blundell, specifically Mr. Dalek JD, and Jason's actually said to him that um, he wants to introduce a new game mode, and obviously he tried that with Grief and he tried that with Turn, but he said he, he wants something to back, and this is where I think the whole time trial thing comes in with Gorog Crow, because when you think about it, that was kind of random. Just have random time trials put into a new map but now that we've got revelations it kind of makes sense and i'm gonna let you know why so like i said earlier we already know we're gonna get snippets of little maps from uh previous years in this revelations map pack so we're going to get nat shonto in the starting room we're gonna get kino the theater and what i think that they were trying to do with the time trials is to kind of set us up because jason specifically said that he wants to try and introduce a new game mode and he said he wanted something that he can get behind so what i think they're going to do is give us time trials but set in certain maps so like when we got Mother of the Dead we got the cell block and that was in turn and when we got like transit we could split transit up into three parts I think we'll have like a time trial in the Kino section or like a time trial in the Natch section or like a time trial in Origins Church or something like that something along those lines I think that is what they were trying to test out with the time trials because Jason said he puts things in to test them see if they work see if the community catches on and if they do then they try and push it a bit further so I think that's going to happen in Revelations with all these different map segments and that's why I don't think they gave us the remastered maps because they had ideas for the smaller bits inside Revelations itself. Now when it comes to map layouts and map easter eggs I believe the layout is going to be very very complex at first. If you look at the intro there's loads of rocks floating in the air, different maps everywhere. I think there's going to be so much teleporting and so much like flinging and things like this and it's going to be complex to get your head around at first but I think if you play it enough times you're going to get to grips with it even from the picture that they showed us with Pack Punch that rock looks like it's just floating. So I think there's going to need a map and I think those maps will contain like keywords like Kino or like, you know, not the map names specifically, but like theatre or church or something like that. And uh, obviously they'll relate to like the separate maps themselves. In terms of Easter eggs, I think this could be the hardest one we have yet because this is the ending. This is Keepers versus Apothecans. This is the big one. So. I'm really looking forward to the easter egg and really really looking forward to the ending cutscene. I really hope they don't screw it up because I love zombies so much but still we'll find out soon enough I guess. So once again I am really sorry for being late on the whole Revelations intro cutscene business. Hoping to do a hyper detailed breakdown of the trailer or the things I think. I've got more videos lined up about this trailer before the map comes out and then obviously when the map comes out I'm going to be bringing out loads of content and stuff to do with everything that's in it, small details, references, things like that, mini little easter eggs, but for now that's all i got, if you haven't seen the trailer or the sneak peek, they're in the description, but still, please consider liking my video, and please consider subscribing, I would love you eternally, other than that, I've been General Jebel, peace out.